Hello and welcome. Today we're going to take a look at Interstellar Transport Company. This is being developed by MT Worlds and is set to hit Steam Early Access here in about five days. This is a, a transport simulation, business simulation sort of uh, game. Something like, maybe like a transport tycoon, railroad tycoon, those kinds of things. But set in space. Uh, the year is like 2050-something and uh, I guess humanity is, is reaching to the stars and we're, we're delivering goods to the various planets in in the system you can start this game uh at a, like a random universe uh, a random star sector or you can play in seoul which we will be doing here we're gonna start on earth we'll be delivering some things some things to to Mar uh to the moon back and forth and uh eventually as time goes on we'll, we'll start delivering things back to like mars and venus and europa and things like that uh you can do things like uh like water and food and and people and different planets in the system have different demands and supply and that sort of thing. Let's go ahead and, and try this one out. This, there is going to be a multiplayer option to the game, which I think is fantastic. And that is, uh, I think, where this game will really shine. Uh, as, as of right now, it's just single player because it's the pre-release kind of thing. So we're going to go with a pre-defined game. If we want to do a uh, like a, a random world, we could do a custom game. But we're going to go with pre-defined. We'll stick with a normal difficulty. And we're going to choose... Our color. We're gonna go yellow because we can see ourselves really easy. My company name is the. Um, oh, what is my company name? Uh, we're the Ferengi. Oh, where's my? Why is the caps lock on? We're gonna be the Ferengi Alliance because we're gonna make a lot of goods. We're gonna make a lot of money. Really is the idea. Maybe some platinum. So yeah. So we'll get into here and we'll see. Uh, well, we'll see all the planets. We're gonna start with a, a station on Earth. And we can build new things to improve Earth, and uh, I'll probably start off with, with some delivering goods to, to Mars eventually. We can also branch outside of our solar system. As of right now, in the year 2050, we cannot, but as time goes on, new, uh, new ships become available. Railroad Tycoon-like, you start out with the steam engine, you can eventually work your way up to the, the interstellar ships. So, here in Seoul, we will begin on Earth. So, on Earth, let me pause this game real quick. On Earth, we have several different gates. These are, um, so when you think of something like Transport Tycoon, Railroad Tycoon, those kind of things, you, you, each player builds their own station, and it is their station. Well, on this one, everyone shares the goods. Uh, there's, there's one station, and we can purchase a gate at that station. And if we, if we own, or if we have a station on Earth, we have access to all of these things. Our ships can dock and, and, and leave. Uh, we have, like, for instance, Earth has a demand for raw materials and rare resources. They have, they're supplying water, consumer goods, and a little bit of food. You can get a little more of a, a readout when you go down here and see how much food is, like, being provided, how much is weekly being provided as well, so you know how much to take on your ships and deliver elsewhere. Uh, nearby, actually, we'll go ahead and, let's go ahead and buy a gate here. Ooh, ooh, control this thing. We're gonna buy gate one, because we are number one. We're gonna spend a bit of cash. We got 225 bucks, or 225 grand. We're going to buy that for, what, 30 grand? Okay, we now own gate one. So, using this gate, we will be able to dock and leave in uh, got cargo ships. So, we'll zoom out here. Our first destination is going to be Luna out here. So, the moon. The moon wants water and food. Well, I just have a planet that has lots of water and a bit of food. So, I think what we're going to do is we're going to... Actually, you are supplying raw resources. Oh, you are. And you know what? Who wants raw, raw resources? Raw, raw resources is uh, the, the, the Earth. So I think what we'll do is we'll come over here to Luna. We're going to buy ourselves a gate here. We'll buy gate one because that's because we are number one. And uh, let's go buy a ship. First, we'll set up a route. We want to set up a route that's going to go from Earth over here to Luna. And on this route, we will be carrying various things. Uh, we want to build a ship now. First, we're going to go and we're going to buy a train. Now, we have different ones that we can purchase. We can purchase a little guy. We can purchase a big guy. They all have different speeds as well. You can see this is 1.125, 1.25. We got the space bus, which is a little bit on the slower side. We have these rockets, which are just one-time use. You just send a rocket out. You actually don't need to buy a station uh, or a, a, a hangar for the rockets, but you just one-time delivery kind of thing. And we'll probably be using those as we, time goes on. We'll see a, a reason for those. We're going to go with, uh, this is going to be our first one, so we'll build a big guy. We've spent most of our money on this craft. Now, we're going to decide what we're going to put on the on this ship. What, something this game does not have that I 
kind of, uh, I don't quite get, I wish it did, maybe it will, this is early access after all. Uh, once we select our loadout, what kind of uh, bays our ship can hold, whether it's a dry climate storage or a, or a people holder, it's stuck. You can't change it after that. I guess it kind of makes sense if they're like, specific compartments like a like a liquid storage once it's there it's there and you can't change it uh anyways we want to be carrying food water and uh, uh resources raw materials right so we're gonna load up several bays worth of food and several bays worth of water and a few bays maybe a couple more waters a few bays of raw resources raw materials like that that's going to be our loadout of the ship and uh, we want him to go for Earth, Luna Direct. He's going to start in Earth. And we want him to launch as soon as, he's, as he is ready. And we're going to order the ship. All right, and then uh, there is our ship. We can name it. It is now Ship 1. It's going to be... Uh, we have some sort of glorious name for you. You're going to be the, the Bob Ross. Welcome to Space Bob Ross. Now we're going to go from Earth to Luna and deliver the goods. That's the whole idea. Let's turn the game on and uh, and do this. Now, there is some things also here to make note. We have various special deliveries that pop up every once in a while. And this is one of them that just popped up here. We have a subsidy of $36 per unit uh, being offered for colonists' delivery to Luna. So if we take people and send them over to the moon, they're going to give us extra money for doing that. And we want to jeopardize on that. We're going to transfer people anyways. So let's make a new ship. We're going to make a little guy this time. Uh, not, the, not the giant guy. We'll take this, this little one here. And we're going to load it just with lots of seats. We want some coach seats. We're going to throw in some business class. I'm going to throw in a few first class ones as well. And same same route. You're going to launch immediately. You're going to just load up and, uh, and set out for the moon. I'm going to order that ship. And uh, so we can hopefully capitalize on that extra cash that we're getting from the moon here. Now, we will have opponents. This is single player. If you were in multiplayer, I guess it'd, you would have well, real people. But in single player, new stations will pop up here in a moment. Uh, that gives me, like, first uh, choice, I suppose, at the beginning here. But in a moment, you'll see the other colors popping in there. Um, and then I want to go here. We can select, like, um, on Earth, I want you to wait... Oh, I can set my, I didn't realize I could do this. I can set my, my ticket prices here for the various spots. I was looking at my resources. You can select, like, rules. If you don't wait, you wait for a full load. You wait uh, next to man. That kind of thing, if you want to select that thing. Uh, I didn't know you could set the prices. That's interesting. All right. Well, I'm fine with what it's got, though. Um, all right. So, I think we're ready to go. Let's go ahead and turn this thing on and, and let it go. Now, we have a little while to wait. We've got... How long was this one? They have a little while to make the ships. So it's going to take them a few months to do that. So we're going to go ahead and fast forward here while we're waiting for that. And uh, as time goes on, you can see the planets do go around the orbit. And pretty much everything is out here. So if we want to uh, we'll colonize probably the inner ones first, we may make our way over here to Europa. Uh, it's, I think Europa is an all right one to grab. I'm not entirely sure at the moment. Uh, of course, we got Saturn and Titan and all those out here. Of course, we have... Is Pluto on here? No, no Pluto. Is a shame. Uh, mouse's, mouse controls are a little bit wonky. We won't be making it out into interstellar, interstellar space at the moment, but for now, we'll be all right. We just busted the bottle of champagne on our new ship, which is not the Bob Ross, but the uh, this guy. This is gonna just gonna call people. This is what we're gonna call the people hauler. So we know what you're doing. Zoom in here. Okay, so we just made four grand from that first ship. And then the people hauler is going to make us... He's got to wait to land because we only have one hangar there. And the other guy is there, like, dropping off and loading and all of that. So he's got to wait his turn. There, he's going to take off. Now he's going to land. And I missed how much money we made on it. Well, there you go. We made 13 grand by delivering those people there. The negatives that are popping up are my uh, my, my costs for the ships and fuel and all of that. Uh, what we might actually need to do is buy another hangar here on both of these. We're going to buy a gate 9 here. For 37 grand, we got some money. We're going to buy that. And so we capitalize on Luna here. You can see the other competitors have, have shown up now. Uh, yeah, we'll buy another gate here. We can spend some money to upgrade the spaceport. Now, that's going to be helping out everyone else because it's it's just making the spaceport bigger. Other folks can come in here and, uh, and buy some things. Now, there are, like, build locations on each planet, which will do things like, uh, like building an office makes the planet like us a little more, which 
I'm not entirely sure what it does. Come with your reputation. Uh, we can do taxi services, taxi services, which helps unloading and loading time. Security services gives us just protection for things. We, there is pirates out there. Uh, if you want to build like a dilithium fuel refinery, that's going to help everybody. So we have to make sure that we are on it if we're going to be building that. Uh, we can build like an office here, I suppose. Yeah, we got 40 grand. I mean, we don't have any 40 grand anymore, but. So we can see uh, they still have a demand for food and water, which we are delivering to them. And we also have a subsidy of uh, per unit of food being delivered to the unit, which we're already doing. So then we're going to make a lot of cash here in a moment as soon as the old yellow guy shows up and delivers that. Bob. As soon as Bob shows up to deliver the food. There's the people hauler. Where's, where's Bob at? Is he, is he there? We can pull him up here and see where he's at. Bob is loading and unloading at Earth. Here he comes. You can click on him here. We can see what he has on him. He has 15 food. He's got 17 water. He is fully loaded. And he just made us some cash. Dropping off everything there. And a lot of stuff there because he dropped off a lot of food along with it. And now he's going to load up and haul uh, hopefully some raw resources. We'll see how what he gets here. We're hoping he does that. We have room for eight. Let me speed up here. Hurry up and unload, Bob. Bob. Come on, Bob. We're all counting on you. There he goes. Yes, he does have a full uh, load of eight. He doesn't have... Oh, he does actually have some food. Uh, what are you carrying over there? What are you carrying back? I'm curious now. Uh, oops, oops. What are you carrying? Um, oh, they're supplying raw materials. Right. What else is it? Rare resources? What is the... I don't know what actually is. Oh, yeah, rare resources. They're hauling rare resources. And refugees, for some reason, is in... Is in the, uh... Like, the storage holding... Um, so yeah, we, they are supplying lots and lots of rare resources, which I guess we want on Earth here. I'm assuming that's worth some cash as well. Yeah, they, they do demand some. So that's actually pretty good. I wonder if I should, they don't seem to be demanding much. We could build a ship specifically for that purpose of delivering raw materials from the moon to the Earth, but I don't know that it would really be worthwhile. So that is, uh, that's the beginnings of the game. We're, su we're supplying things from Earth to the Moon, making a bit of cash. We can see our finances here. We have made a profit of 26 grand in the, in the past, what, uh, 30 days? No, in the past 30 days, we've made 19 grand. And in the past 90 days, we made $100. Uh, mostly thanks to um, fees and things. We also have some reports where we can see where the operating profits are in the negative right now because we're buying ships and things. But this will hopefully go up in a moment. Now, we want to go to more exciting places in space. We have Mercury here. We've got Venus around here somewhere. We can see Venus. They all have different, like, supplies and things that they can they can do for us. We don't really know exactly their, uh, their supply and demand. Which they won't have one now because there's nobody who lives there right now. Population is zero. I think, actually, we do have a Mars colony. I think we start with Mars? Martians? Yeah, there's 520 people. Uh, 520,000 people on Mars. And they're demanding food and water. Oh, even the space bus is now available. Uh, let's, well, let's do this. Let's turn the speed down a bit. Let's go ahead and buy one of these these, gate, uh, these gates here. Okay. And let's build ourselves a ship. We got all Bob Ross is getting some maintenance right now. Let's build. Uh, I don't think we should get anything too giant. The space bus. Are you faster? You're a little bit on the slow side. We probably have people that want to go to Mars, too. Actually. Let's do... I don't want to do the expensive one. You're even more expensive. Okay, we'll do... Um, uh, what the heck, just do it. We're going to go with the, the Boeing 919. And we're going to load up... Food? Water? We'll do a line of resources, and we're going to do five people. And you're going to go... I haven't set up your, your route yet, so let me, let me do that. Uh, no route at the moment. But we're going to go ahead and order you, and we'll set up a route right now. So this new route is going to go from Earth. Where's Earth? Right here. Earth. Over here to Mars. Okay, we made 53 grand so far from our two stops from the Earth moon stop all right i want to sign you the uh earth mars direct 
name of that route. That works for me. We can rename those if you wanted to. And as soon as you are ready, we're going to launch you. And you should uh, make us a bit of cash, hopefully. Mars is way over here right now. Turn up the speed and get you out there. You're on order. You gotta get, you gotta get built. You got, like, a long time before you are ready to get out there. But we should uh, have a profitable experience here with uh, with this one. We'll see about that. Maintenance at the gate for the people hauler. But it's made me 91 grand. Bob Ross has made me 139. All right, he's ready at Earth. We're going to send him on his way. And here he goes. He's on his way to Mars now. It's a long trip. And I'm not sure how profitable it will be with this with this slow ship that we have right now. Eventually, we'll get much faster things that we can send out. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. If we wanted to do rockets, are pretty quick. We could send a rocket out that way if we wanted to quickly make some cash. But I think we'll be all right. And you can see the uh, the amounts here are far less than they are at Earth. So this he may not come back with much. But I think he's... Is he full? Yeah, he is full. So we did have people that were wanted to go there. We can see them down here. People, uh, these guys, everyone that's lit up there wants to go to Mars. Everyone here wants to go to the moon. And uh, you want to go to Europa, so I think. Machinery to Luna. I'm not going to worry about that one. I'm kind of wondering, maybe... Let's go and buy this other gate. And there's so many people that want to go to the moon. Where was it? Yeah, Earth to Luna. There's a lot of people that want to go there. So we make another people hauler? I think maybe we do. Pull it up, and we can do like this, a big one. No, we don't have the cash for that. What's your speed? 1.12, you're 1.25. I don't know why I would, why I would buy uh, the, the D500. What do, we, what do you get out of it? Out of it? Not much. So we're going to stick with the little guy, and we're just going to load you up with people. We can do that, and more of that. You are going to be a people hauler as well. You're going from Earth to Luna, please. Launch immediately. Away you go. The Earth Mars Direct, we should name you. Instead of Ship 15, you should be... Um, the Martian. Okay. And then this guy that's going to, that is getting created right now is going to be People Hauler Mark 2. This is going to be the, the P Hauler... Mark 2. Okay, and we can see the profits that they have made over here. Like, Bob Ross is making me a lot of dough. I maybe should just worry about getting another one of those going out there. And I think that he is always loaded here. Not getting raw re He's getting raw resources back from the moon and over here. Or, can I make a... Can I afford this? I want a, uh, a taxi service. 50 grand, yeah. Make one of those. There we go. Uh, I'm going to put those on, on Earth as well. They'll make things move a little bit faster over here. Let's see, let's see. Here's a spot right over here. Over here in Hawaii, we're going to put taxi service. Upgrade it if we wanted to. We don't want really to have a lot of money. Uh, we can also... We start off with a... Where is it? Is this it? Is this mine? It's my maintenance shed. I want to look at my hangar. Where's my hangar at? It's somewhere around here. There's a yellow one around here somewhere. I don't know where it is. There it is. Nope, that's not it. Where's my hanger? Here it is. Nope, nope. <laughs> I don't. I thought I had a hanger. Maybe I don't. I don't. Maybe I don't have a hanger there. I did on my other game. Oh well. Uh, Spaceport on Mars has been upgraded. That's the other uh, uh, computer player that has has gone through and put some money into Mars, making it a little bit bigger, right? It was only two before. Now it's a four spot, and we can, like, buy some things on here if we wanted to. We could buy a, a local office, which will help get us, you know, people like us. I don't really know what it does. Uh, security service, taxi services, all kinds of different things. Maintenance hangar might be a good thing to do, actually, since it's a long flight over here. I'm actually going to do that. And, uh, yeah, let's see. How's the, uh, has he made it yet? There's the Martian. He's coming back with, he's got a few raw resources he's bringing back. He made eight grand, though, on that trip over to Mars. That's a long ways to go for eight grand. I perhaps should have made you a bigger one. Is that the... Well, I guess you are kind of the big one, aren't you? Still supplying quite a bit of stuff. We really, really demand raw resources over here. Where can I get raw resources from? Do you supply it? No, you're demanding raw resources, raw resources as well. I can't say that. 
Our resources availability, 24%. Uh, it's 82%. How reachable are we raw resources? I can't tell. <laughs> On this planet, such as heavy metals, rare isotopes, complex natural, and nuclear metal. Um, maybe. I think we need people living there before we can we can really get started with that. And the way to get people living there is we can establish a colony and start sending folks out. Uh, let's do that. I mean, before this video is over, let's, let's do something exciting. We're going to go colonize... Which one do we want? Mercury or Venus? Venus. Something have, like, clouds of... Uh, um, something terrible, right? Some sort of sulfuric acid or something? Yeah, it seems like a lovely place to live. What are you? You're, uh, you're a little more habitable. Easy to grow food and survive on this planet. Okay. So, let's build... We're going to subsidize the colony. It's going to cost us... Oh, 350 grand. We can't do it right now. We'll, uh... Crank the speed up and get some money. Once we get some cash, we'll subsidize the planet, put a uh, um, colony there, start sending some people over, and see if we can get uh, Mercury up and running. Martian's on his way over here, and you are... You made me nine grand. You made like a thousand bucks on your way back here. So that's that's something. Uh, the Martian... Why are they... Why is my caps lock on? Why does it all look... <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> it's okay, I suppose. <laughs> Just don't look at it. <laughs> um, Alright, Bob is making me 200 grand. The people hauler is not really doing me all that great anymore. Calling a subsidy on Mars is ended by the local authorities. Uh, I guess I missed that one. Well, I suppose we need to do another one of these going to Luna. And that'll give us a bit more cash. Let's do that. So, we're going to make ourselves a new ship... New ship. We're gonna do a big guy. You. You're just gonna haul lots and lots of stuff over to the moon. Lots of that. And lots of that. I think we can provide this. I'm sure we can. Earth Luna supply. Yes, launch immediately. And away you go. You're the big guy. Okay. New guy. Your name is... Caps lock is off. You are... Big guy go. So he should make us quite a bit of cash. He's expensive, he's big, and he's going to bring a lot of stuff over to the moon. Famine on Europa has created lots of refugees. If we, um, let me see here. I'm not sh really sure how refugees works. Was that, that was on, is that, that on Europa? Famine on Europa. People live on Europa. I didn't think anyone lived there yet. Was it... Oh, did somebody colonize it? Or is it, was it always like this? There's 146,000 people on here. There's a lot of refugees waiting. And I don't know if they... I don't think they pay. I don't actually know how that works. I tried it in my test game, and I didn't seem to get it working like I was, was hoping to get it. Uh, we could start sending things out here to Europa and, and start funneling food and water out here. And people. There's probably people that want to go to Europa. It's a long way to go. Yeah, lots of people want to go to Europa. Europa, there's tons of folks that want to go to Mars. Not so many want to go to Luna anymore. I think we've, I think we've gotten them all taken. New colony has been started on Mercury. That's what I want to do anyways. Okay, so we can go ahead and upgrade the spaceport for how much? 35,000 bucks. We can afford that. Someone else has already gone ahead and subsidized it. Uh, there are people that have already lived here. I guess they're the, uh, the um, colony ship people or something. We're going to upgrade the spaceport so we can buy ourselves a gate. Okay, we now own a gate on Mercury. They really want machinery, they want water, and they want food. I can deliver that from Earth. Let's buy ourselves. First, we're going to set up a route. This is going to go from Earth over here. And we're going to go to Mercury. Okay, new ship. I want... We're going to go with the big guy. Uh, another big guy. Can I afford it? Um, is this a wise idea? Speed, 1.37. 1.12. Uh, yeah, whatever, it's fine. To, uh, to Mercury. And you're going to have food, and water, and a few people. I think you can, yeah, I think you should be able to land there fine. Lots of water, and we're going to do, um, like... Three seats. 
Okay, and away you go. Okay, your name is... Um, uh, something clever for Mercury? I don't know, I don't know. Mercury Transport. Sorry, it's not clever at all. Well, at least it's not... Oh, caps locked out. Alright, uh, let's... We are caps, top speed, so we should see him away here in just a moment. And then, uh, I think it's about time to call this video to a close. So again, this is on... It will be on Steam on the 16th of the month, and it will be in early access. And uh, it should be an interesting thing to, to check out. I'm, I'm interested to see how where it goes. Right now, it's it's rather simple. There's not a ton to it. The AI is really stupid. Um, but playing it multiplayer and with with different options in, I can it could be rather interesting. I think we made 27 grand on that. Excellent. Very nice. I want to see you. Uh, you. So you have you do have two foodstuffs or something that you're bringing back to Earth. But that was a $27,000 trip going over there. It's going to be rather profitable. The big guy's making me a lot of money. We've got... The Mars is not really doing me any good at all. It's, I think the ship is, is just not... It's just too long of a trip for that kind of ship, I think. Back to the Mercury Transport. Let's see what you have. What, what people were shouting about. Pirates were warded off by the crew of Ship 62. And the pirates that are out here, I don't really know how to deal with them yet. They may not be fully implemented into the game. How much are we going to make out of it? Ten grand out of that one. Not so much. But we can see Mercury is going to be slowly adding population in as we as we carry people over. And, um, yeah. Anyways, thanks again for watching. And I will see you next time.